I'm Brianna Gorski and welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about 19 things I learned at 19. And I've kind of been collecting these over the age of being 19. I'm still 19, but that ends tomorrow. And I'm just going to be talking about it, I guess. Um, yeah, so some of these are, most of these are like inspirational things, I guess. But some of them are just really helpful life hacks. So, yeah. Number one, to gain muscle while losing weight, you should do cardio after weight, weights and strength training and eat extra protein. <laughs> Number two, little things will happen and you'll suddenly flip a switch and become more emotionally mature. And this will happen like really quickly. Like it'll just build up and all of a sudden you're gonna be like pretty much very emo emotionally mature. Like it'll happen like in a blink of an eye, you won't even notice it and you'll be like, oh yeah, I'm more emotionally mature. Like that, that just happened. <laughs> yeah. Um, number three, there comes a point in your life when you'll know and you're, you'll feel that you are more mature in situations than people who are way older than you, than like friends, family, parents, grandparents, and it's definitely a feeling. <laughs> number four, do not sacrifice your own happiness and goals to appease others and can and conform to the idea of something that you're not. This is like one of the biggest things I've learned and following going by this has been like crucial in my life progress. If someone tells you you need to do this, if society tells you you need to do this and you don't want to, run the other way. Do what you want to do. If you don't want to work a nine to five job, don't do it. If it's going to, it's going to make you stable and secure it'll be stable for you. Maybe not like you won't make a lot of money from it. If you don't want to have a nine to five job, don't have a nine to five job. You do what you want to do. Believe in yourself, girl or guy. It's a gentle neutral term here. <laughs> Number five, this may not apply to everyone, but for some people it might. You'll wake up one day and realize that you truly are an adult and that you're able to handle all the trials and tribulations in life and whatever life throws at you. It'll, like like with the previous one, it'll just like happen. And one day you'll be like, I'm just like at that point where I, I believe I could truly handle anything. Like some harder than others, but I'm an adult and I can do this by myself. I don't need my parent. I don't need any emotional support. And I think I can do this on my own. And not just I think, I know. And yeah. Number six, don't take your health for granted. Treat your body with kindness. It will make, it's what makes you, you. Yeah. Don't take your health for granted. Don't do it. Number seven, be proud of yourself for how far you've come. If you get emotional about it, it's okay. Growth is a beautiful thing. Like you've come so far and you should be proud of that, right? I'm proud of it. Number eight, I'm reading it off my computer because I have them on the list. You aren't obligated to give people a second chance. Set your boundaries and do not be lenient about them. This is a big one. Like, you control the pe you control who you let in your life, okay? Number nine, use dry shampoo a few hours after blow drying your hair post shower to like make it less greasy. People will use dry shampoo, like, if their hair is looking a little greasy and they don't have time to shower. That'll just make it worse, okay? It'll make it worse. Use dry shampoo, like, a few hours after you blow dry your hair, and it'll make it last, like, a day or two longer. Trust me on that. It works for me. Number 10. If your day isn't going well, there's always time to change that, and you have the power to do it. You have free will. Use it wisely. Don't get blinded by temporary inconveniences. This is like, you have free will. If you're having a bad day and it's like 6 p.m. and you're like, I don't want to have a bad day anymore. You don't have to. You can do whatever you got to do to make that day better. You can always do that, okay? Don't like, don't ground yourself in like the sadness. Lift yourself up. Come on. 
Number 11, for muscle inflammation, um, ice the area that's like inflamed for 36 to 48 hours straight or even longer. Um, like the amount of times I've rolled my ankle and I can't fucking walk because it's so bad. I actually rolled my ankle a lot, surprisingly. <laughs> Just constantly ice it. And like if it would take like a week to normally heal, you'd be good in two to three days. Like it's genius. Just constantly ice it. Have like and get like an ice pack wrap. You can get them at CVS. Genius. Fucking genius. I swear. Oh my gosh. Even if, even if it's not like for a rolled ankle or anything, like your knee hurts for some reason, like you pulled a muscle in your knee, do this. It literally works. Ah! Okay. When traveling or doing something fun, put your phone away for a little bit. Like when I'm on, when I'm on vacation or hang out with friends, I try my best to like put my phone away and just enjoy the moment. Okay. Number 13, you can manifest with doubts. It's literally all about intention and mindset and like the energy of the version of you. So even if you have doubts about your manifestations, it doesn't matter. Like all you have to do is set an intention and get into the mindset and the energy of the person who has your manifestations like per. Number 14, you have every right to feel the emotions you're feeling. Do not ever let someone invalidate those feelings, even yourself. Like, you have every right to feel what you're feeling. Come on. Number 15, be your biggest supporter. Just support yourself. You know what you want to do. Believe in yourself, okay? Number 16, only buy and keep clothes that you feel happy and comfortable with and let go of the clothes that don't make you feel that way. And it's it's really hard, but when you finally do that, it's so relieving. Like I was going through my closet and getting rid of stuff like I don't ever wear. And for some reason, I had weird attachments to some of them and I was like thinking about it and like, do I want to get rid of this? Like literally holding it for like a minute and a half. And when I finally put it in like the it's time to go pile. I was like, like, it was like a whole new world lit up for me. It was a really great feeling. Number 17, just try it. You'll never know until you do. Just literally try it. Keep trying. Like you can say like, at least I tried, right? Because if you don't try it, you'll never know. You'll never know. Keep trying. Okay. You'll never know. Like, let's say you want to try to go viral on social media. You try it once for a few weeks, doesn't happen. You like, but let's say you told yourself, I'm just going to try it for another week or two and you go viral. If you didn't say that to yourself, you didn't try for another week or two, you never would have went viral and had those opportunities, you know? Number 18, take risks, have fun. Money will come back to you, but you'll never be 19 with this exact opportunity again. Apply that to whatever age you are. Like money will come back, but you'll never be the age you are now with like the time and the healthiness or whatever applies to you that you are going to be with that opportunity in the future. Like take it now. You're having this opportunity for a reason. Money will come back. If you have even the money to do it, do it. Even if you're worried about it making you go a little bit broke. The universe is providing you with this money and this opportunity. You should take it. Come on. Ah! Uh. <laughs> this is the final one. Number 19, set boundaries. It's important to protect your energy. Setting boundaries is like self-care. It really is. And Setting boundaries with loved ones and family and friends is also really important. And setting boundaries doesn't have to be like, oh, um, I'm going to say no and stick by that. It's more of like, if you know that someone like drains your energy sometimes, like don't go near them. Like setting boundaries could be like whatever it needs to be for you to protect your energy, right? So yeah, um, this is the last video that I'm going to be 
This is the last video I'm going to be filming and posting at 19 years old. How do I feel about this? Emotional, but like I feel a chapter closing and a new one opening up with excitement. So yeah, thank you. Hopefully this video is a little inspiring for you. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.